While there are many different monomers, there are only two ways they can link together to form a polymer chain. By addition reaction, or by condensation reaction. Some, like ethene, simply add together as the electrons in double bonds rearrange themselves to form new bonds, linking the monomers together. This is an example of an addition reaction, and the result is polyethene. There are no other byproducts of the reaction. With some monomers, though, something different happens. Here's an example. These two monomers, diaminohexane and adipic acid, react together to form one type of nylon. They do this because both monomers contain groups of atoms that readily take part in chemical reactions. These reactive groups are called functional groups. One is the amino group, made up of a nitrogen and two hydrogen atoms. The other is the carboxy group, consisting of a carbon, two oxygens and a hydrogen atom. Now watch what happens when the two groups react with each other and notice that we're now representing the structure of each monomer in condensed form. As the monomers collide, some of the covalent bonds are rearranged to link the two monomers, and there's also a water molecule produced as a byproduct. Let's have a look at how that happened in slow motion. When the monomers collide with sufficient energy, some of the covalent bonds are disrupted. On one monomer, the bond between the nitrogen and its hydrogen is broken. In the other, it's the single bond between the carbon and the oxygen atoms. A new covalent bond forms between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms to create a water molecule. Meanwhile, another bond forms between the carbon and nitrogen atoms, linking the monomers. To make our view less cluttered, from now on we'll leave out the lone pairs of electrons. The same polymerization reaction continues at each end of the molecule, forming a longer and longer polymer chain. 